Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to talk about emergency backup power for HF, VHF, and UHF communication. Now you might be able to see behind me that there's two 40 watt solar panels on the tower uh, producing 80 watts and about 4 amps of output to a uh, charge controller which I have in the ham shack. Well, we're going to explain how we put all this together and show you the benefits of setting it up and why it doesn't have to be terribly expensive. All right, stick with me, and let's get you started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a signed narrative. So I received two 40-watt panels for testing and review. But rather than do a boring test and review and simply write a report, I thought that we would put these in actual use. Peak power for each panel is 40 watts, maximum amps 2.29, nominal voltage 17.6, no load voltage 22 volts, 2.42 amp short circuit and an operating temperature range of minus 40 to plus 40 Celsius. The solar charge controller that we're using for the project is a Morningstar Sunsaver 10 amp. The battery was saved and repurposed from the diesel-powered Subaru Outback project. It's not a long-term solution, but it certainly gets the project off the ground and running right now. Ultimately, we'll replace this battery out with some deep cycle batteries. As has been the case with other projects, my good neighbor Aki from across the street has welded up a solar panel mount for the panels and tower. Being so far north, we decided on a fixed elevation and azimuth for the panels. So for this phase of the project, they'll be tower mounted, aimed south by southwest for the duration of the year. For this part of the project, I was demoted to cameraman while my neighbor climbed my tower and did the hanging of the solar panels. I don't know which job was worse as I was the one having tools dropped on my head. <laughs> Nevertheless, the end result was very nice. The panels clear the garage roof, point south by southwest and get good sunlight for about half the day. If there's budget to do so, next year we're going to raise the panels up high on the tower, as well as add a rotator to track the sun during the day. For now, just to get the project off the ground, these panels and their orientation will simply have to do. There certainly is no shortage of videos on YouTube showing large homes with off-grid solar arrays to power them. So you may be asking, what's the point of such a small solar array on my tower? We're certainly not trying to power our televisions or refrigerators, things like that. The goal of this system and any system like it is to power our HF communications gear, our VHF and UHF tactical communications gear, our tools, recharge our batteries, and perhaps even provide us with some emergency lighting in a grid down scenario. Don't get fooled or misdirected guys. A small solar array like this is better than having no ability to power or repower your devices in a grid down scenario. For those of you who haven't been following along, we have a page set up at survivaltechnology.net. I'll put a link right here so you can go to the project page and see all the information about the project in detail. There's also a related project which I'm calling QRP Ultra Pack, the FT817 DIY external battery pack project for field communications. Combined, these two projects help you establish a solar backup power solution for your emergency communications gear. Please check out those articles and let me know what you think. In part two, we're going to put together a power distribution unit to go from the Morningstar Sunsaver 10 to our radio equipment. We're also going to switch over to power pole connections for everything in the shack 
as well as improve the wiring coming out of the Sunsaber tin. Finally, we'll do some measurements, as well as discuss future plans and upgrades for the system. That brings us to the end of this video, guys. If you haven't done so already, remember to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Facebook, and of course, survivaltechnology.net. And if you think I deserve it, please give a thumbs up and share this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.